Akbar is never like a consistent character at places in majors. And one of the reasons is because everybody knows Gardevoir's kit and playstyle, while Aegislash can constantly mix it up. I mean, you can mix up a little bit of Gardevoir gameplay, but it's it's really but difficult to do so. Compare it to Lucario or Sphere Camping. Oh, yeah, Mewtwo, exactly. yep. Decidueye Camping, Aegislash. Mm -hmm. Like, th those characters have such amazing tools. And now we're going to see more Aegislash and Pikachu. And it's going to be Kalon CPU versus Nico. Shout-outs to Kalon for making it out here. Yeah, it's nice to see him. It, I mean, we see him on time a lot, a lot of time. Ah, oh, gosh. <laughs> we see him a lot on Discord. And he is a very active... Uh, Pokemon player. If you've cool. played ranked, you've played Kalon. Yeah. <laughs> and he's For sure. hailing from Colorado, making it all the way out here just to show people he is not just a net play warrior. And he's going to be playing against Nico right now. Nice job. Gets the counter off. Already half of Nico's health is gone. We are seeing quite a dominant health lead so far from uh, Kalon. Punishing Iron Tail at 4Y. All right, does get the anti-air. Wow, that damage. No wall splat, though. He is in burst. So I think the wall splat actually is in Nico's favor because it allowed him to stay on him. Nice grab. Justice comes out. Going to get more chip damage. Which is pretty smart. What's nice? Getting Good a parry. parry. That is going to scale Sets him a lot, up. though. And he's he got him against the wall. He's got no attack buff, but now he does. Frog this is smart. Keeps him, keeps him pinned. Gets the follow-up. Getting it. He had two chances. He almost whiffed it. And that is huge. <laughs> We've yeah, all been there. You cannot afford to whiff against a player of Nico's caliber. It's just, it's not smart. <laughs> because if you give Nico any little bit of a comeback. He'll take a mile. He can easily just steal the round from you. <laughs> Aegis Slash just hovering right above that. And gets him a shield. No follow-up. Instant JY acting like Brixen's boomerang pretty much. Nice little grab there. You're going to change it up. He does have the attack buff on, and that's going to deal some pretty significant amount of damage. And it's going to allow him to set up Iron Head, too. No Sacred Sword, either. All right, nice counter from Nico. He's going to get a little bit more pressure, but the burst is going to come out. Calling and stop here again. Probably going to see Iron Head set up. Really smart play from there. He gets himself in a little bit more, tries to make Nico shield, and goes for the grab, which is what we just saw. Nico trading. Right now, he's just waiting out Kalon's burst. Which is smart. He is going to go for the laser beam just to get that chip damage. Which is which is a good option. I mean, he was pretty low on burst. Wow. Oh, going beautiful straight grab. For the grab. Exhaust frames making it so the attack didn't bounce off of shield, mm -hmm. which allowed him to get the grab. I, I really liked uh, Kalen's gameplay right there. He did an excellent job of spacing things out. The Frogadier helped set himself up, made Nico shield like he almost had to. I mean, he had a couple options, but I mean, in that situation, you're kind of panicking. You've never fought this player. And like, and like we saw against Tilo, you know, he had to feel the waters out. And I feel like that's what he's going to be doing right now. Let's see if he makes any changes. Frogadier is just, I think, a very strong support still, and he has been since day one. And a lot of players don't use him. Wow, that was a very, very unique bait. He didn't get, like, a punish or anything, but I really like that feint. Yeah. <laughs> Both players just so patient right there. Yeah, I mean, there's a lot of respect going back and forth between these players. Having respect the miss, unable to grab the AY. Oh, that could have been a grab, though. Nico, I think, a little bit it's more just, intimidated. It's kind of like oh, just a back and forth. Let me hit your shield. I'll let you hit my shield right now. The big difference, though, is Aegislash is the only character in the game that his normals do chip damage as long as he has the attack buff up. Which Ooh, is nice job from Nico. He's going to get two grabs right away. 25% health. Came on one combo away from losing. Yeah, he has to be more respectful now. He was being really respectful Look at that, all that chip damage, too. Shield Comes break. Down. That is going to take away synergy, which is huge. Nice setup. This is going to do it. 3 yeah, HP. No. 1 that HP. Is, that is an <laughs> He's going to live. <laughs> that is what we call optimal. <laughs> if he would have went straight for the burst, there is a chance that Pikachu's burst scales a lot. They upped the damage, so it may have killed anyway. But... At least like old Pikachu, there was always that chance that that would not have finished the round. And both these characters, you give them an inch, they take a mile. Yeah, exactly. That's what we saw um, in almost every other set. Twixie, everybody else. We're seeing a lot of characters, too, that are capable of just doing that. I'm seeing a little bit of sand attack action. Nice counter through. Oh, just grab. He had the right read, but it just went under. And you hate to see that happen. Nice job. He's got him against the wall. He did quite a bit of damage That there. is going to take away majority of his health. Almost half of his health gone in just that one hit. 
Nice right now, the, it's huge that he doesn't have burst. Nice little low stance. Going for Frogadier, trying to find himself into this game again. The only problem with that is Frogadier, when you're completely full screen, will miss. Oh, yeah. You have to be at a certain mid-range and, like, it's Get like you have to be at the maximum mid-range space pretty much for it to land. Nico still having a hard time finding his way in right now. That is going to confirm. Nice setup. No attack buff, though, so it's not going to do as much as it would normally. Did you press button? He nope, not. blocking it, but he is sitting at 1 HP. I would have liked to have seen a parry uh, or something. Uh, <laughs> I know it wouldn't have worked, but... Nico making his shield turn red. He does have frog, though. Oh. That's going to be it. No, no, no punish. Nico did crap. Gives him the justice. Not going to be enough. He flies right over him. And now he has burst. And the timer is about to run out. Three seconds Nico left on the clock. Nico with the counter. Games are tied 1-1. One, one. This has been the first. We haven't seen this for a while. That was so close. And I think you can tell that Nico might not be the most experienced in this matchup or possibly just a little bit nervous because I'm pretty sure you can still 8Y iframe through Aegis Slash's counter at a certain point. But he also had a red shield. And I think Nico was afraid of him possibly countering mm -hmm. or something that would trade. Because usually like when your opponent's shield is red at that amount of HP, they're stuck playing on the defense. Because if you do something like uh, Iron Head or Iron Tail is comparable in knockoff, mm -hmm. and the perk of it is once their shield is red, they're gonna try and jump to get away from you. Yeah, they gotta find because some option. They know if they counter, you can just grab. So the fact that it's an overhead, it'll break shield as well as catch the jump. Which is why a move like Iron Head and Knockoff, I think that is like one of their strongest points of play. And the thing is, it doesn't matter that it's punishable on block because it'll break the shield and close out the round. Exactly. We are seeing a support change coming up from Kallen. Uh, he is deciding for Mimikyu Rayquaza. And he went straight for the grab with the attack buff. He's now going to get the speed buff as well. I really, really like that. Ooh, punishing the vulnerable frames. Ooh. That was solid. Catching the 2x Oki. 75% of Nico's health is already gone. And a lot of it is chip too. He's had to have lost at least like 100 HP from chip damage. If he had just held his counter there, he could have won. But wow, a solid, a perfect. Perfect. Nico not looking pleased. And you can't really blame him. I mean, it that's a demoralizer. It does not feel good to be perfected <laughs> by a character like Age of Slash. And it's just. A big part of it is the fact that this character has a lot of different dynamics that he can just throw out of you, and you have to kind of eat it. Because right now, you're he's looking for certain setups, and all he has to do is just be like, I'm not going to do 2x now. <laughs> I'm just going to grab. He does have him in the corner. Nico, Nico working loves on a perfect of his own. He likes to do that. He'll do the walk-up grab. Triple grab from Nico. He gets him against the wall. That's a perfect <laughs> of <laughs> his reverse, own. Reverse perfect. Says, you thought you had me. You were wrong. <laughs> he said, you want to see mix-ups? I'll show you mix-ups. No mix-up. Triple, <laughs> yeah, the no mix-up mix-up. Going straight for the Mimikyu, going to block it. A little bit of chip, not bad. Going straight for a grab again. <laughs> this man is grab happy. Nico like actually does love doing grabs because he knows that you're going to respect him because Pikachu does have a very strong Oki game with 5x. I was almost expecting a triple grab again. <laughs> I was expecting homing one in a grab. This is uh, this is grab happy times right now. Nico using a burst of his own just to keep Kalen away. I mean, it's smart. It's it get that little bit of pushback. Now he sets himself up for some damage. Patiently holding block, although he is going to eat a lot of damage. A little bit too much respect there. All right, burst is about to run out for both competitors. It does run out for Nico. He does have Eevee support. Holding block, very patient. Yeah, that was really smart. I mean, his burst was about to run out anyway. Wow, stuffing out the burst. He countered a little bit too early. That is going to take away majority of his HP due to Rage. Nico is going to get a lot of synergy here. Nice job with that combo. He now has Eevee. He's recovered a little bit of HP. If he can win this field, he, <laughs> he is so close to burst. And now Kalon looking to lose this game. He is about to have Mimikyu. But, I mean, can Mimikyu make the difference? 18 seconds left on the clock. He is going to pop it right now. Trying to get himself in. Are we going to see a grab? <gasps> oh! <laughs> the patience! Nico also finally getting burst out of that. That was such a good, that was such a fast set. That was three games. That I really liked seeing just how the no mix-up mix-ups from both players or just the pressure coming out from Talon. That was huge. <laughs> that was amazing. What do you see?